We're in for a treat. Here's everything new coming to gameplay in FIFA 23. Can't wait to hear more about Hypermotion 2. Let's throw it to Sheldon and our gameplay team to dive into the details. Thank you, Derek. Joined by the one and only Shauna Games and our gameplay dev team, Sam and Concho. Everyone, how you doing? Good, good, thanks. Doing good, how are you? I'm super excited to play FIFA 23. Cheers for asking. Okay, let's get right into it. Today, we're talking about Hypermotion 2, women's football, attacking, defending, goalkeepers, and Shauna's favorite, skill moves. First, let's start with Hypermotion 2. What have we got? So Hypermotion is our groundbreaking next-gen technology that combines advanced 11 versus 11 match capture with machine learning. And with Hypermotion 2 this year, for FIFA 23, we carried out twice as much real-world motion capture than we did last year. That's two full high-intensity matches with training drills. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. That's right. So there was like a shooting drill. We got a ton of great data for power shots and goalkeepers. We also did one-on-ones, so a lot of new dribbles. And the way the defender jockeyed and tried to counter that dribble, we've got all that motion. So th the beauty of training drills is that we can get a high volume of data that maybe you would see only once or twice in a full 90-minute match. But in the training drills, we got it over and over again in a short period of time. And Hypermotion 2 is a technology that empowers the improvements across all the gameplay areas. And in the end, it takes us over 6,000 new true-to-football animations transferred from the pitch directly into the game. Yeah, and don't forget our machine learning algorithm. It's learning from over 9 million frames of data that we captured from these excellent motion capture shoots. So, so to sum it up, it's more motion capture data than we've ever captured before. And they're professional athletes playing competitive matches, and that's what's going into the game, feeding our animation and AI systems. Well, I'm super excited you guys are representing women's club football now in FIFA. What is it like working with the professional women's team this time around? It was amazing that we captured two professional women's teams, and now that we have women's club teams in FIFA 23, it's bringing authenticity to the women's game. We've captured all this real-world data where they, you know, they played a competitive match, and now all of that can be felt in, in the game. And I know that uh, besides the capturing the specific animations for the passing and the shooting, we actually completely changed the whole locomotion set for the female players. It means like every running style will be feel unique and uh, more realistic. What does all of this unlock in making the Hypermotion 2 experience feel more authentic? From the first moment you pick up FIFA 23, you're gonna notice that dribbling is different. We've used the new animations that Hypermotion brings to enhance the responsiveness and the visual quality of dribbling. And it adds a whole new level of personality. When you're playing with elite dribblers, you're going to be able to change directions much more quickly. It's more based on real world football. But what the tech allows us to do is actually interrupt dribble animations so that even if you point to the right side, you can quickly change to the left and we'll interrupt that dribble animation to allow you to sort of like create a almost like a body faint motion where you're shifting your weight from one side to the other to help you beat that opponent. And the new dribbling system is compatible with the machine learning ML flow that introduced last year, which means we can ensure the clean footsteps in between every dribble touch. Right, and then people always ask, well, what's the counter to dribbling? Surely there's something in defending. Well, that's where the new machine learning jockey comes in. So the way you're able to position your body, the way you're able to angle up to that dribbler is much more intelligent. Yeah, and I know that the jockey allows you to have this super smooth, quick lateral movement, in and out, step-ins, change of direction. Well, I love using the jockey button, so I'll definitely be using this to count the dribbling. Please tell me more, guys. Another part of the hypermotion that I'm super excited is Accelerate. We know that the pace, speed, and acceleration, those attributes is probably the very first thing that our players look into. Exactly, like acceleration is very important. Yeah, inspired by the real life players, we defined three acceleration archetypes, the explosive, controlled, and lengthy. The length is the strong physical players, but it's not only limited to the defenders. Some of the strong physical attackers will also benefit from this archetype, which means they might be not as fast on the very short distance, but will be able to accelerate and very long, powerful strides to really improve their speed and accelerate even further and get the edge over the longer distances. I know that most of the players will be using the controlled, which is more continuous acceleration, but I really like the other archetype, the explosive one, which is dedicated to uh, agile players like those midfielders in the center of the pitch, because they might not be associated with the pacey and the long runs, 
but they have that killer quick first step. Oh, wow, they're literally coming so fast off the mark. And it's not just the acceleration types that, that we have that are new this year. We, we also have signature run styles for those top players. I know Mbappe is one. We've got his unique running motion in the game right now. I know there was a few other players that you were keen to talk about, Sam. Yeah, my favorite one is Vinicius Jr. because he actually has a two visually different run styles when he's dribbling with the ball and without. You can see when he's dribbling with the ball, his hands a little bit everywhere because he's so creative going in and out. But when he runs, he's more composed. And I know there is a, a series of the small, subtle changes in the way the arms move and the elbows move during dribbling, during running, during jogging. And the collection of those small changes really makes a difference. Oh, wow, that's sick. Seeing so many new additions on the hypermotion side, but there's really a lot happening in gameplay overall this year. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Sam, what's your favorite way of scoring a goal? My favorite one is a power shot. Power shot is a new high risk, high reward mechanic that uh, requires a little bit more precision from you, but at the same time, it will result in one of the most powerful, most exquisite animation I've ever seen in FIFA games. With power shots, you can actually do this in, in a number of different ways. You can take it off the dribble or you can take it first time. Top bins all day, every day. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Shauna always going for the top bins. But as we eye the back of the net here, is there anything else to help players score more goals? Last year, we introduced composed ball control. This year, composed ball striking allows players to control the ball with that first touch and set themselves up for a volley or like a bicycle kick. You take one touch to control the ball and then fluidly step into the shot. So the, the, the beauty of it is that you're setting yourself up with that thigh touch or that chest touch so that you can really step into it with power for the shot. And now to an area where we have a little more time to find different ways to score. What's new with set pieces in FIFA 23? In FIFA 23, we redesigned all set pieces mechanics. The new penalty kicks will have a more intuitive aiming system, but the key piece of the penalty kicks this year is a new circle shape composure bar. If you time it right, you will have a more precise shot, which means you can also power it a little bit more. Yeah, and that brings us to free kicks, something the community highlights so often. Anything new here players can look forward to? With the new system, with the right stick, you are able to pinpoint the exact place on the ball you're about to strike. And I really love that the new system gives you full control of the trajectory. So in certain situations, I can actually curl around the wall back into the net and the opponent will have uh, no idea I can do that. And my favorite thing is on defense, you can actually lie down behind the wall to block any low shots when the wall is jumping. You see that in real football all the time these days. Sam, the back line is starting to sweat right now. How, how on earth are we going to counter all of this on the defensive side? Every year, we're trying to keep up with the attack and with all the new ways to score. And on Defender, there are several improvements we had in this year. And my favorite one is the hard slide. This feature was designed to just send the ball as far away as possible. But I found it quite useful as a counterattack to the power shots. Because if you need some time to prepare for a shot, this is a perfect opportunity for me to unexpectedly go and kick the ball as far away as possible. And I know we've added a ton of new animations just for the elite defenders. So more coverage to stop the ball. Even if you've sort of overrun the ball, you can reach back and still get your toe onto it. So really nice way to make those uh, world-class defenders stand out. Naturally, we've made our way to the last line of defense. What's new in goalkeeping this year? So with keepers, we've added this reaction time based on their vision. So if their vision is blocked, they're going to be a bit slower to react. So more natural behaviors from the goalkeeper. But when they do have time to go up and grab that ball, they're going to be stronger. Even if an opponent is challenging for the ball, they're going to keep that ball. Even if they fall down, they're going to hold on to it, just like you see in real life. Capes! <laughs> exactly, exactly. There's probably some other cool stuff that we haven't talked about, like the fingers, yeah. Yeah, we always wanted to add this for a long time when the goalkeeper will really stretch out, reaching for the ball, and you will be able to see like each finger deformation coming up with the contact with the ball. And this year we were able to achieve this. And my favorite part that this new physics approach was able to recreate not only for the goalkeeper, but also for the defenders. So this year, the ball will actually graze over the foot 
will graze over the leg and there will be more deflections. And not only does it graze off the deflection, it, it actually pushes back like the, the, the foot or the arm. I know Shauna's been dying to ask you this. Shauna? This is Loki, my favorite part. Skill moves. What's new? Tell me everything about it, please. I'm dying to know. There's so many new things with skill moves, actually. But my favorite part is the left-footed skill moves. This is something the community has been asking for for many years, and we finally got that into the game. So if you're Mars, for example, you can actually do an elastico skill, and he'll use his left foot to do that now. There's so many other skill moves to talk about, like Mbappe, right? The way he fakes a shot. I really love the fake shots because it's one of the easiest and most reliable skill moves uh, to perform in the game. And I know that this is available only to to the elite players. And we also have a stutter feint skill move where they feint one way and make you step the wrong direction. My favorite new skill moves is a heel fake to ball roll. It's good. I mean, I've been using it already in the game and it's a skill move where you actually use the heel to fake a pass and then you do a ball roll to the other direction. Oh, wow, that's sick. Well, this is going to be great content for me. Totally. I'm loving all of these new updates coming to FIFA 23, from women's football to new shooting mechanics to all new ways to defend. And your first look at what Hypermotion 2 is bringing to the game, that does it from the pitch. Derek, back to you. Thank you very much for that. Can't wait to lend our commentary to the world's game this year.